What's this back here? Little painted plate. Is Santa warming his bum? He is warming his bum against the uh, little potbelly stove. Okay, Santa. All right. I bet those went with a set. I get the feeling those went with like a set with champagne. That is a signed piece of, I don't know if it's fused glass or dichroic glass. It's, all right, I don't know if these are old or new. Moats. So this is the big solution to dividing the room. And so many people were saying, how are you guys gonna share a room? Well, my handyman went and actually, he picked up all the shelves for me. These are the Billy shelves from Ikea with two extensions on top. And then he built a platform down here, which we didn't think ahead and actually paint it before we put it together. So now we got to get creative. I figure I'm going to give Rachel some fun contact paper or something just to decorate and make that whatever she wants it to be. But uh, this is going to house her entire horsey birdie collection. And then we still have the curtain. So this is how we get through to the other side. But yet it's closed off so that the birds, the birds don't fly through. Or actually, should I say the birds? Hi, Mango. Hi, Scoop. And the birds, which do get to come out of their cages. So that's it. That's the big reveal. Now we get to decorate it. It is senior day at Goodwill. But I am missing, I am missing my little partner in crime. Carrie is off and running and doing some other things this week. So it's just me, just little old me, shopping the senior sale all by myself. I know some of you like it when I shop alone. I'm, I like it when I shop with my friends. I'm not gonna lie. I love shopping with my friends and sharing things and looking for things with each other and laughing and having a good time. It is what it is. But I, I indulge both sides here on the channel. Never fear, I will always indulge both sides. The alone shopping and the with friends shopping. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here. It is about 5 p.m. So we'll see if they're bringing out new carts. And so I, I, I shouldn't say never. I almost never come here first thing in the morning because it's just crazy bill. And I don't, you know me, I don't do crazy bill. I don't do big crowd shopping and all of that. So I'm hoping it's not very busy in there. Something else, before I forget to announce this, um, so many of you know, I am now selling over on whatnot.com and there are links down in the description. If you've never shopped on whatnot, take $15 of credit to go shop. You don't have to just buy from me. That is like site wide. Go take that $15, go have some fun. Uh, but I am doing a special sale this weekend. It's gonna be Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. It's part of the estate sale extravaganza that's running from Friday through Sunday. And there is gonna be some fantastic sellers selling some really cool stuff. And uh, I, will probably, I will probably buy more than I sell because it's gonna be fun. Uh, but go bookmark that right now. I know, again, I'm terrible. I will put a link down in the description of how to find where that sale starts. It literally goes from one seller to the next. Like we just, I think we're selling for like an hour and then boom, it's on to the next seller and then the next seller. So no reason to get bored even. You can just spend the whole weekend shopping. All right, got that in there. <laughs> I'm also gonna post over on my social media links. Instagram probably specifically is the best place to go find the information. And I am the niche lady over on Instagram. So I know I am terrible managing all this other social media stuff. I just am. I just am. <sighs> so with that, I'm going to get into Goodwill. I'm going to see what I can find. Maybe I'll add it into the sale. Who knows? All right, let's get shop done. All right, lucky cart, lucky cart. Let's go. Oh no, that one's got a pole. That's definitely not lucky. Let's go with this one. Let's try it. Our color. 
is purple. I am not seeing anything new in the Halloween, so we will not spend much time here. Because I've already shown this on a previous video and there's just nothing new here. So let's get on to some more funner stuff. All right, there we go. Some little pink pumpkins. I like the little pink pumpkins for $3.99 each. Those will definitely end up in my, um, I don't know if it'll end up in my live sale or my whatnot sale, but it'll end up in one of my sales in my Halloween theme. We got some clear glass. We have a nice grape. Give me, give me an idea down in the comments. Like I tend to veer away from grape themed items. I mean, how do you feel about grape themed items? Do you veer away from them? Do you like them? Am I a weirdo for veering away from them? I just kind of want to know. There's a nice um, pitcher and basin for $19.99. That's a good collector price. Not for us for resale. Oh, goodness. Let's see. This would be cute if it was done better. It's just the quality of the painting. Yeah, it's Dollar Tree, huh? Makes sense. But that's a really cute concept, the little crooked tree. So that would have been a, a nice piece with a little more quality added. All right, nothing too fun on this shelf. I said maybe a little pair of bunnies for $1.99. I don't think they're any bunny. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? <laughs> That's why they call me the cheesy one. It's an Avon on that one. What's this back here? A little painted plate. Hmm. Nothing too exciting. Oh but look what's on this shelf. I always pick this up if the price is right. This is the uh, Somayaki or Somaware. There will be a little mark. I don't know if you can see past the tape. I can see it. And sometimes, yep, the little gold horses will still be intact. This crackling is an on-purpose finish. What's really cool is we've got a teapot and then there are three sets of cups. I'm looking for a price. I'm looking for a price. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm putting them in the cart. Because I don't see any chips. I don't see any damage. Oh my goodness. No price. Is, oh, $29.99. Now, I don't know if that is for all of it. I think it is. I think that's for all of it. And if that's for all of it, I'm okay with that price. I'm okay with that. And since these aren't, I'm just, I'm just going to tell them. You know what? That's for all of it. It's a nice little aquarium piece, but we don't use any plastic in our aquariums. Saltwater tanks you really can't use plastic and artificial things because they foul up the water. These are kind of cool little candles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm hoping they're going to bring out a cart while I'm here. I may have missed the cart time though. They usually come out with it around four o'clock. So I'm about an hour past, but I don't see any signs that they brought them out unless they just took back the things before I got here. That is a big shamrock right there. That looks like Santa is warming his bum. Is Santa warming his bum? He is warming his bum against the uh, little potbelly stove. Okay, Santa, all right. This plastic, he is, it says Santa's Best 1992. That is kind of cute. Ah, but we are not taking Santa home today. Pretty blue. I'm still doing a little decorating, so I'm attracted to some of the blue that I'm using in my home. If that wasn't broken, I would have probably picked that up for Noah because he likes these things that hang on the wall, but that one is broken. 
That's interesting, but extremely large. What are you? Pretty, but modern. Let's see what you are. Oh, candle holder? Must be a candle holder. And I'm not seeing anything else to even look at in the vases. See if there's anything in the clear glass. Nope. That looks like a Godzilla. Oh, let's see. Hello. <laughs> It's me, it's me. You have an empty cart. Thank you. I think that's a ship, right? That's a ship, right? All right. It's kind of cool. $12.99 though. Ooh, ouch. Ouchie, ouchie. Well, oh, he's missing one. There's an apple. Decorative drapey, drapery. We actually need some of these. It's funny. We need these. Those are a little big though. I don't need those. That's a little, that's a little more than we need. Not quite. Not quite. We're going to need this soon because we're definitely going to get some chickens. So you know what? I'm going to pick this up because this looks brand new. And I'm sure it's a lot cheaper here than it is at the feed store, so I'm gonna pick up a little chicken feeder. Is that birds? No, it's just supposed to look like leaves, okay. And then I'm not sure what that's for. All right, all right. All right, we've had to skip a couple of rows just because it's a little busy on some of these aisles. That's okay, we're gonna look at it all. I just have to remember where I've been and where I haven't. That's my biggest challenge. Ooh. I'll make a kind of cool mushroom top. I am gonna get my mushroom project done here soon now. It's cool, it's nice, although October, it's gonna be a little crazy. Look at this poor little hobby piece here. Who made you? <gasps> you didn't sign your work? Oh wait, yes you did. I just can't read it. KY? KY. KY made that. All right, KY. Nicely done. What are you? Oh, these are Funkos. I don't know. Somebody tell me, are the Funkos, do they still have value outside of the boxes? Because I always thought that the collectors wanted them in the box with pristine boxes, and that's what gave them their value. So, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a little shrew. It's super adorable. Are cute. Okay, let's see. Nothing else calling to us from these shelves today so far. Just a bunch of little flowers. I wonder what that was about. Hmm. Why of all the things am I attracted to the little cheap flowers? I don't know, because that's that's just sometimes how my brain works. Come on, I'm not alone. I know I can't be alone in that. That some of the craziest things call to us for some reason or another. That's in a little bit of rough shape. Hmm, let's see. Nope, nothing else here. All right, glasses, glasses. Let's see what we got. Mm. It's not looking too promising at this point. In fact, it all starts looking the same, doesn't it? See these a lot. These were like a hostess gift, a Libby. And th there was some party thing because you always see them as a hostess set. They do not sell. They do not sell, unfortunately. I think every antique dealer in town has tried. Sweet little glasses with these 
thought maybe they might be Arca Rock, but they might be Depression. What I do know is they are not for us today. What are you? You are made in India. Look at that paint job though, it's just bad. It's just, it looks like a child painted it. No, no, no. I come from the days of quality. I mean, I come from the days where everything was quality. Like you didn't, you didn't put out stuff like that. You just didn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fly. I bet those went with a set. I get the feeling those went with like a set with champagne. Let's get the feeling. Ooh, that's got Mickey Mouse gloves and ears all over it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I will do that single Mickey Mouse glass for $1.99. All right, let's see what we got in the mugs. I got told that I need to stop buying mugs because I have a lot of mugs. I do have a lot of mugs. I've kind of been in this kind of a limbo pattern since April. Um, many of you know, like if you're in the membership, you know this. Uh, I have been working on opening a store, a thrift store, and uh, we are we're in the final process. We may we may I don't want to jinx it, but we might have a lease signed by the time you see this. This is kind of a cool mug. It's um. 99 cents it's just different and it's a great doctor gift I think with Christmas coming and the holidays for gift giving I think I'm gonna grab that for 99 cents uh, but but back to what I was saying so I've been in this limbo I haven't wanted to send things to the antique mall that I normally would have sent to the antique mall because I've been gearing up for all these things to go into my own store and uh, it's been a very, very, very long, tiring process, but I think we're almost there. So make sure that you are subscribed and following and I will give updates. Oh, I thought that was loose. I will give updates as often as I can and uh, you can follow this journey with me. That is a signed piece of, I don't know if it's fused glass or dichroic glass. It's, it's kind of odd how it's mounted on this board. I don't know. It doesn't excite me. It does not excite me. This is a piece of salt glaze, Western Germany. Unfortunately, these do not bring a lot of money. And at $5.99, this is best left for somebody who's a collector to pick that up. And these little cherry baskets. Cute. All right. Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. <laughs> Must be a retirement thing. Okay, from Marshalls. I thought just the glaze just dripped down in this very sloppy, very sloppy. That's how you know it's not a high, high-end piece. Who are you? Holiday candy tin made in Brazil, imported by Walmart stores. There you go. How long has Walnut, Walnut, how long has Walmart been around? I mean, it's been a long time now. I guess you can have vintage Walmart stuff. Oh man, where's your other pumpkin patch piece? You're really cute. That's a bummer. Hmm. Nothing there. Live life in full bloom. I agree. I agree. Nice rustic candle holder. It's kind of cute. Made in Dominican Republic from wood, aromatic cedar, and mahogany. And it's a dice. I guess it's, is it for candles? I guess it would be for candles. I think I looked in these before. The colonial candles. I think I peeked in there before. Yep. 
All right, nothing in the wood section today. All right, bathroom section. Mmm. Mishy mashy section. Oh, it's not going to be long, but uh, these hand warmers are going to be something that people are going to be coveting. Let's see. How many are in there? There's quite a few. I don't even know what they cost new. That's the thing. And insole foot warmers? Ooh. Ooh, now you're speaking my language. The problem is if I buy it now, I'll lose it by the time I need it. Because that's just me. That's just me. Okay, again, I'm going to ask. Put your answer in the comments. Am I alone? Do you order stuff or you, get, you buy stuff and then you put it away and then when you need it, you can't find it? I cannot be alone in that. I cannot be alone in that. Don't touch me. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of a little tablet holder, maybe? All right. Ladder ball. What is... What is ladder ball? Anybody know what ladder ball is? Looks like a lot of work to put together that's what it looks like this says brand new what are you what are you brand new like a light fixture or like yeah some kind of a light fixture with little volleyball lights this went to a lazy Susan and it looks like the middle piece is missing Goodness, let's see what we have in the plates and the dishes. We've got some teacups and saucers up here. They are Golden Beauty by Stetson, 22 karat gold. They are $4 each. And then they have $14.99 on this set of serving pieces and $7.99 for two platters. I don't know if that's good until I go home and run the comps. I don't run them here because it's not something that I would buy even if the comps were good because I'm just not dealing with plates and bowls right now. But I do look so I can do my homework so I know what kind of things are going for and that's how I learn. This still just cracks me up so much. Used, well maybe they're not used, but but look, it says right on it, one dollar. They came from the one the one dollar store and Goodwill is pricing them at two ninety nine. Like, I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know who's telling them to do that, but that's a no. I would have bought every one of those. Even if they'd have priced them at a dollar, I would have bought every one of those. But I'm not paying two ninety nine. That just doesn't make any sense at all. What is this? I'm not even sure what this is. Hmm. Got some mystery items tonight. All right, nothing exciting there. It looks like a map for inside of a crate. <laughs> And uh, somebody uh, did not like being in that crate. You can see that. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's a baseball mitt. I don't know a whole lot about these. Signature, it looks like an older one. They're asking eight bucks. Hmm. I may look this up and see if this is a good pickup for one of my fellow reseller friends and see if it's something they would like. So it has a really, really good sell-through rate and it sells for like 20 to 25, maybe like 15 on the low end. So I am going to give this to my friend Sunny Las Vegas for a little uh, thank you for driving me around all the time. We call it gas money. So Sunny, this is coming to you. 
some interesting things kind of peeking over here in the electronic stuff like this is what I'm trying to figure out. I see John Wayne in there and I don't understand why these things are in this acrylic case, but there they are. And a mug and some fake candles that don't work anymore. Hmm. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Those are like wall sconce. Those I don't even know what to say. Where would you put those? What? I don't, I, I'm lost for words. Those are kind of, uh, large and, uh, in my opinion, hideous. Yeah, I'll just say it. All right, moving on, seeing what we have in the lamps. Hmm, nothing exciting. I am on the hunt for like an overhead lamp, not like an overhead overhead lamp. And I'm looking sometimes, sometimes they have floor lamps over here somewhere, but I don't, this is it. This is all they have tonight. So I want one of those lamps that kind of comes up and over so it can be like right over my head when I'm doing my sales. So I'm watching for one to show up at the thrift store. I just really did a quick skim through the art just because it's not something that I'm really looking to pick up right now. All right, I don't know if these are old or new. Moats. 83, they are. 1983 mushroom hot pads for 99 cents each. We will grab those. This is another item that I know my friends both uh, Sunny Las Vegas and Mikey Bags of Money pick up its Chicago Bears pennant, and it's only 99 cents, so I'm gonna grab that for one of my friends as well. Oh, we are almost back into blanket season. Is it cooling down where you are? Let me know down in the comments. And it's best, I know a lot of people like to send an email when I ask a question like that, but it really, really helps both the channel and the video, if you just leave it as a comment, I promise I see it. I really, I actually see it more in the comments than I do in the emails because uh, Carrie helps with the emails. So definitely leave me a comment. Riot Society. I have not heard of that brand. That's interesting. I might look that one up because that's just a little on the bizarre side. It's another item with a really good sell-through rate. And actually this geisha here is the highest seller of all the ones that have sold. It sold for uh, $35 recently. So again, I'm gonna pick that up because that's a worthwhile listing. All right, let's look what's here in the toys. Who is in a cage? Okay, that's just bizarre right there. I don't understand that. Maybe somebody watching understands that, but that, I guess that's why I just don't really sell that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's worth like hundreds of dollars and I'm missing something, but I'm okay with that. He brings me no joy. I often get criticized for not picking up things just because they don't spark joy in me. And I got to tell you, it's the way I run my business. I, and I encourage others to do it because we have to stay motivated. And I know a whole lot of people with what we call a death pile of stuff and it's because they bought stuff that didn't spark any joy and i know even though this is jesus this particular item does not spark joy <laughs> sorry jesus <laughs> but uh yeah that's how i stay motivated i stick with things that i am going to enjoy working with all right one of my last stops here is to look through the purses Not seeing a whole lot that makes me want to look closer. XOXO brand, Nine West. They have some racks out here. I'm probably going to peek through some of these racks of clothes before I leave. I had a little time, so I was kind of going through the Halloween costumes because sometimes you can find some really cool vintage clothing in here. 
as is the case right here. This patchwork leather jacket is by Newport News, easy style. It's 100% leather. It's a size medium. Now what's interesting, there are two listed, one at $87, one at $99. They are large and extra large. So there's no mediums listed. And it's a pretty cool looking jacket, like great for maybe Halloween. Uh, the price on this is $14.99. Even if you sold that at 50 bucks, it'd be a good pickup. But then I turned it around and saw that there are some stains on the back. So I'm not one to get stains out or do anything with that. So I am going to leave this, but you know, if you're a vintage seller and you don't mind working with those stains, that's, that's probably a really cool pickup. So I found this pair of pants. It's like the wraparound pants, the pyramid collection. I don't know. I don't know. I love these. I don't know where or how I'm going to wear them, but I'm going to figure out how to wear those because I think they're just so cool. So that was my, uh, my little clothing find in the Halloween section. I am going to head to the checkout now. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. And then uh, stay tuned after that. I come back and talk to you a little more. shopping trip complete. Pretty happy with my purchases. And I'm actually happy that I didn't find a cart full of stuff. It has been a week. I'll share more details as we go. But as I said, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot, a lot, a lot. Did I mention a lot? <laughs> Besides just the moving and still trying to get unpacked and all of that, getting ready to go to a conference in a couple of weeks where I'm going to be, it's in Las Vegas, but it's away from home. So I have to be prepared for that. I'm throwing a party and, and just keeping up with everyday business. So there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. I'm really excited because Jordan will be coming into town and staying here with me for a week. And then I'm going to be going back to San Diego with her and staying there for I don't know how many days and so I got to get ready for that too. Uh, so with that being said, this was a nice not too much stuff kind of shopping trip. I'm very happy. I hope you got something out of it. Hit the like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I really appreciate it. Well, we have been hard at work unpacking boxes. And this is not all of it even yet, but we're making progress. But uh, she's got a variety of uh, lots of briar horses. The girl loves her briar horses. She's even got like what we call repaints down here, which there's like a whole, there's a whole collector club of that. We've got birds and dolphins. You guys always laugh at me when I'm buying the birds and the dolphins and the horses and you're wondering who, what, the what? Where's she gonna go with all that? And there's her chicken collection. And then we have to be careful up here because when the birds are out, 
they tend to go high and we don't want anything being knocked off the shelf. So that's why only heavier items are up there that the birds can't knock down. And at the very, very, very top, we're gonna put her Wells Fargo pony collection and some other plush. So if they get knocked down, it's not a big deal, they're plush. So that's what's gonna go up on the very top. So we still, still have room to unpack and put things on the shelf. It's a work in progress. Oh, let's put the glass ones here. I know it's like changing, changing. Having to incorporate a lot of these birds were in a curio cabinet at the other house and now they're gonna be on her shelves because I put turtles, tortoises in the curio cabinets. But um, yeah, there we go. She's ducking. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you, Miss Camera Shy. I feel like, I feel like you're missing one of the brand new in the package ones somewhere too. We still have some unpackaging to do. Given, given. I could have sworn I, okay. Maybe there's a Christmas present around here somewhere that you never got. What do you think about it, Peanut? What do you think? Are you over it? You've been upset because you haven't been able to like jump up on the bed because we've had horses and birds on the bed, but you know what? They're almost cleared off and then, and then you're gonna be able to get on the bed. How do you feel about that? Does this make you happy? Does this make you happy? Yeah? Yeah? Or no? Okay. She's ambivalent. Ambivalent! Are you happy, Rachel? Yeah. You know what would make Peanut happy? What? Me putting you on video? No. I'm not. I'm not. She's ducking. Oh. Her chicken bone. Her little chicken bone toy. it's actually a turkey leg. Her turkey leg. Oh, yeah, she likes it. <laughs> she does like her toy. She can't quite hold on to it. Yes. All right. We're going to sign off for now. We're going to keep working on our little project here. And uh, But I just wanted to show that this is almost the finished project. Product. Almost the finished product of the horsey shelves. They're pretty fantastic. I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. I love this. I know. Not. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, but I love it. Uh, to me, this all sparks joy. To some, it might look like clutter and who's going to dust it. But you know what? That's what little air blowers are for. It's all good. It's all good. Right, Scoop? Right, Scoopy? He's, uh, he's not talking. We didn't hear him. Oh, did he say yes? Okay. And uh, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun.